The developments that have occurred since 2016 do now make a nuclear-powered submarine fleet a feasible option for Australia. The French government says it was betrayed when Australia pulled out of their existing multi-billion dollar defence deal, agreeing instead to attain nuclear-powered submarines through a new deal with the United States and the United Kingdom. Why is France so angry about the trilateral deal? France stands to lose the equivalent of $65 billion US dollars from an existing deal to provide Australia with conventional diesel-powered submarines. The cancelled deal with France, a major global weapons exporter, is expected to make a significant economic impact in the French defence sector. France also stands to lose out strategically in the Indo-Pacific, where the country holds significant interests. On Thursday, after the nuclear-powered submarine deal with the US and the UK was announced, Australia formally announced it would be withdrawing from its previous contract for conventional submarines with France. The deal with Paris had been in the works for years. Australia previously planned to acquire 12 conventional attack-class submarines from the French shipbuilder Naval Group, which successfully beat out competing German and Japanese bids in 2016. French Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian said he was angry and bitter about Australia's new submarine agreement. The Americans and the Australians have indicated that the French government wasn't blindsided by the reneging of the original contract, saying high-ranking French officials were made aware of the decision by the Australian government. This was relayed directly to the President, relayed directly to the Minister for Foreign Affairs and the Minister for Defence Prime Minister Scott Morrison said on Friday. Morrison said that when he met with French President Emmanuel Macron in late June, I made it very clear we had a lengthy dinner there in Paris about our very significant concerns about the capabilities of conventional submarines to deal with the new strategic environment we're faced with. And I made it very clear that this was a matter that Australia would need to make a decision on in our national interest. Australia's Defence Minister Peter Dutton said in a news conference on Thursday that the decision to choose the American nuclear-powered submarine over France's conventional diesel submarine